How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk video games and today it's going to be another NBA 2K19 rant and rave about the shooting in NBA 2K19. We have preached and preached and preached for years. A few years ago we preached and preached, please fix the shooting in NBA 2K, we're making way too many contested shots, please fix it. They finally fixed it and now we're back to square one with the shooting. Shot contest doesn't exist. If you're taller than the other player, you're going to hit 99% of the time because it's going to be an open release. The shooting in this game is so overpowered, so over the next few minutes, I'm going to be talking about why shooting needs to be nulled down or something needs to be done about the shooting because it is ruining the game in NBA 2K19. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is just players playing the exact same way over and over and over again. There's pretty much two ways the players play in NBA 2K19. They get their shooters behind screens and just hope they get that animation where the player gets caught in the screen so they have enough space to shoot up a quick free because everybody has LaMarcus Aldridge's quick jump shot set to 100 speed and everything like that so everyone just shoots it like a madman and 99% of the time it goes in because you open every single time because you just hide behind the screens. It's not fun. The second way people play is just the behind the back to try and create that bit of space and then they have that bit of space to just quick, quickly shoot up that three. Pure stretchers use this perfectly, time and time again, over and over again. There is ways to stop it, yeah I know, and I do every now and then. But every single play, time and time and time again. The only way people consistently win in this game is by cheesing the game. That's why people just play the same way over and over and over again. Because players aren't really that good. That's the thing, they hide behind little glitches in the game to prove that they're good at the game, but they're really not. They're just hoping for that animation to create space for themselves. That's what makes you a good player in NBA 2K19. Not the fact of playing actual basketball. It's just creating that little bit of space from that cheesy dribble move that moves just way too fast than any, any player should ever do, especially a stretch big, but yet these dribble moves just go boom, 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 and they're open. And all of a sudden they just open like that, a split of a finger. People say it's skill gap, oh, you should get good. What, to spend the same dribble move over and over again makes you a good player? Or waiting to get a specific animation behind a screen? That makes you a good player? To me, that is boring and repetitive. It makes the game unplayable at times because everybody plays the same exact way. What's the point of having an archetype system when everybody chooses the same archetype and plays the exact same way? Like, I get it. You guys are just using what works because shooting is the most overpowered archetype in NBA 2K. But you've got to do something about it, 2K, because it's making the game very repetitive and very stale very, very quickly. So the next thing I want to talk about is the stretch bigs. At the start of the year, everyone was saying the stretch bigs are dead, they're dead. The centers aren't going to be able to shoot. So all they did was change it to a center to a power forward, and now they're still the most overpowered player in the game. Year after year, stretch bigs continue to dominate, but yet they don't do anything about it. Something needs to be done. They need to be slowed down. They need to be able to have slower releases. Because no shooter shoots like that as a big man. Look at Davis. Look at Dirk Nowitzki. Marcus Hall. All slow shooters. Lamarcus Aldridge. Slow shooter. But yet in 2K, because you can choose a specific jump shot, everybody is a super fast jump shooter doesn't matter how big or tall you are it just doesn't make sense to me these dribble moves that these stretch bigs are able to do is just ridiculous what stretch big can handle the ball like what they can they talk about balance every other character or archetype is restricted in certain ways but where is the pure stretch they can dunk they can somewhat rebound they can dribble the ball somewhat, like, uh, don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near as good as any of the dribblers, but it's just not balanced, and it hasn't been balanced for years. Imagine a lockdown defender could, that could actually handle the ball and shoot the ball. Wouldn't that be a bit overpowered? But yet the stretch big 
as I said, year after year just continues to be overpowered and 2k just don't do anything. So now let's talk shooting. Everybody talked about the skill gap in NBA 2K19 and we should be able to hit green releases every single time. I do agree with that to a certain degree, but I don't as well because that just makes three-pointers so overpowered. Look, I, I, I know, like, if you release the button every single time, I talk about consistency and everything like that. I, I realize this, but it's just made shooting way too easy, way too overpowered. Like, I know I don't want random elements in 2K, in any game for that matter, but there has to be some sort of random element because people are just making too many consistent shots, especially from way deep. Like, around the three-point line, yeah, I can, I can understand, but when it starts getting from half-court and stuff and just inside the half-court line, there has to be something done. There has to be a random element. Maybe around the three-point line, it's 100% skill. But anywhere deeper, it has to be random because it's just getting ridiculous. People can just pull up from anywhere with any archetype. If you have any form of shooting in your archetype, you can pull up from anywhere. Like, I, I don't want randomness completely overtaking the game, but there has to be randomness at some point because shooting is just getting way too silly. It really is. And the next thing I want to talk about, and I talked about it a little bit before, and that's jump shots have to be set to a position, so they have to actually create a bill of balance. You shouldn't have to go on YouTube to find out the perfect jump shot. You should have maybe four or five jump shots per position, and those jump shots are actually affected by that position. Look, tall guys, as I said before, shouldn't have super fast releases. Knockdown shooters shouldn't have super fast releases they shouldn't look at the knockdown shooters other than steph curry and, and clay thompson there's not that many fast shooting real good knockdown three-point shooters look you have eric gordon who's a slow release you have kyle corver who's a slow release bradley beal isn't too bad but still it's not a super fast release you know what i mean so they needs to actually create balances through the actual jump shots now because this jump shot system it's just ridiculous. It's breaking the game. It really is because everybody just uses that one overpowered jump shot. And it just it just breaks the game. It really does. Like, I never thought a jump shot would break a game. But it really has. 2K19 is breaking because of LaMarcus Aldridge and base 11 or base 8 or whatever it is. Everybody's using it. Every single jump shot, no matter what archetype you are, everybody uses the same jump shot. Yeah, everyone has different release, one and two, but everyone's base is the same because it's the only base that consistently hits. I don't understand why it hits more than others. I, I don't get it, but it's just the way it is. So they need to do something about this jump shot system. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but they really do. They need to simplify the whole system and actually create a bit of balance in the jump shot system. So one thing the community has to realise... The more you exploit something in video games, the more chance it's going to have to be nerfed. That's the difference. So with all these jump sh the jump shot system, it's like in other games, because other games actually care. When they have a game-breaking flaw in there, they actually patch it. It's like in Fortnite or, say, Call of Duty, a gun is overpowered. Or the tactical insertion, for example. If any of you guys have played the tactical have played Call of Duty over the last few years. A tactical insertion is something that you put down and you spawn there. But what people were doing, they were putting it down, spawning there and getting a friendly or a teammate to kill them over and over again to boost and get, get score. They used an exploit in the game so they had to remove that feature completely. And that's what the jump shot feature or the jump shot system is becoming. It's an exploit in the game that people are exploiting so they've got to get rid of it. They really do. Enough is enough, 2K. You've got to actually step on the front foot instead of just releasing the same thing with the same problems time and time again. I'm going to make a whole video about it, but people say this is the best 2K or close to the best 2K ever. My ass. It's a bit better than 2K18. Like, all the really difference in 2K19 to 2K18 is jump shots are way overpowered, stealing lanes are a bit better, and lockdown defenders are actually useful. Other, other than that, it's pretty much the same game. Oh, and there's no blow-by animations. 
That was a win for us this year. Like, that's how bad 2K is. Getting rid of an animation was a win for us. Like, the game hasn't changed. The progression system is exactly the same. Everything is just exactly the same. And people just praise this game because they just want to... Oh, I don't know why. Like, I really don't. There's not much difference in this game. There really isn't. And shooting is just something that has changed for the worse, in my opinion. Because over and over and over again, people are just making shot after shot, and the game just becomes boring. And one last thing on the shooting is left-handed shooters shooting is so much better. And it really is. I never believed it. Like, everyone used to say, oh, left-handed shooter actually shoots better. And I'm like, oh, yeah, right, yeah. And I've used the right-handed sharpshooter in NBA 2K19, and I shoot all right. Like, I'm not a bad shooter. I'm not a great shooter by any means, but I'm not bad. I used a 61 overall pure stretch big left-handed shooter, and I was shooting fairly consistently with a 61 overall. Yeah, makes sense. Left-handed, but a right-handed shooter is nowhere near consistent. They need to fix this immediately. I don't care what anyone says. A left-handed shooter shoots better than a right-handed shooter because I'm an 85 overall pure sharp compared to a left, a left-handed stretch big that's a 61. I think maybe a 62 overall, and he doesn't shoot as good. Don't get me wrong, but he actually hits shots like fairly consistently. One out of two, maybe one out of three. A sharp shooter, right-handed, 62. 62 overall, you'd be lucky to make one. Like, it's really that different. It's crazy. They really need to do some test 2K with this because that can make or break your archetype just by making him left or right-handed. And if they can't fix the problem, allow us to change it. Allow us to be left-handed all of a sudden because it's just ridiculous. So the next thing I want to talk about is the actual shot contest. Shot contest in 2K19 is non-existent. If you have a tall player, you have a huge advantage this year in getting the height above your player. And then if you extend your arms or your wingspan or whatever you want to call it, you're going to have a huge chance of making shots this year. Especially if you are a power four going up against a shooting guard or smaller because these guys don't get defensive stopper badges against your archetype So it's just ridiculous if the pure stretches have so much of an advantage in this game. They really do Everything falls perfectly for a stretch big with as tall as you can be with a fairly Long wingspan you don't want to make a t-rex arms where he's really short because then the shot doesn't get over the shooter. But once you get over the shooter with a pure stretch, it's lights out. Like, there's, there's a reason why so many pure stretches are out on the park at the moment. It really is. It's not a, a coincidence. Like, I get it. Like, I, I understand the reasoning why people use those archetypes. Because they are overpowered. The, it's up to the, to the developer to balance it. But the problem is, when they balance it, that hurts that archetype, which people have spent so much time and so much effort. So it's re they're really hesitant on hurting pure stretches because it will affect so many players. But it has to be done. It really does. It's killing the game. Anybody that has an other archetype is just at a, at a disadvantage. And that shouldn't be the case. It's really not fair, and it really has to be done, because the pure stretch is every single game, a pure stretch, pure stretch, and he just hides behind screen after screen after screen, he does his little step back and shoots, bang, 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 every single time. Like, it's, it's not fun. It's boring. It's repetitive. And that's where this game really falls down, is, as I've always said, is the variety. The variety in this game in the archetype system and the actual gameplay of the park is ridiculous. It really is. It's mind-numbingly boring. It's becoming an online my career. So the next thing I want to talk about is light shot contest. Look, it needs to be stronger. It's getting ridiculous. Look, it, just because you're a tall person and I get lightly contested, it doesn't mean it should go in. I stand in people's faces and it still goes in, manual contest or not. 
if I'm in good position, that should be enough reward for them to miss the shot. But it's not in 2K19. It's ridiculous. I know people talk about skill gap and you've got to flick the button at the right time to get the contest and all that sort of stuff. But I'm, if I'm standing in someone's grill right in their face, that will affect their jump shot because they can't physically do their jump shot perfectly or in rhythm because I'm right in their face. But yet you don't get rewarded. But yet, yet you get rewarded for jumping out of position. When you're out of position and you jump from all the way from the side, that'll get a shot contest. But if I'm standing right in his grill playing perfect defense, but I just happen to flick the stick, miss, and, uh, blah, 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 sorry, not flick the stick, and I don't get rewarded, but yet I'm in perfect position. How does that make sense? But yet you reward a player for playing bad defense, but, but just hitting triangle and jumping. And that gets more of a contest than playing perfect positioning defense. It just doesn't make sense to me. The whole system is broken. All I'm saying is players should be rewarded for position more than timing a hitting in the triangle or flicking the stick. That's all I'm saying. People need to be rewarded for their position more than their timing. But I do have to say, the best thing that they've done with the shot contest system is actually taking away shot contest when you're standing behind someone. If you're behind someone, you should not be contesting the shot in any way, shape, or form. That is a perfect thing for the shot contest system, and that is one thing that this system has actually done right. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. This has been a long one. Oh, man, I ranted and raved about the shooting. I just had to get it off my chest because shooting, everybody's praising it. And in my opinion, I think it's hurting the game more than it's helping it because it's really making the game stale and repetitive. Leave all your thoughts and opinions about shooting down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch us later.